Yes, welcome to Keeping the Ball on the Ground. We've got Kevin Kyle, Paul Slain, and Hearts of Midlothian. Oh, 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 hey. Hearts, glorious hearts. Yes, mate. Not joining in? Well, I, I could have, but come on, you're a bit scared. Do you Just know the Hearts really song? See, that was nah. the Ranger song you're doing right now. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, congrats on the movement. Uh, talk us through you ended up there, apart from here, fuck all else. <laughs> first thing, first things first. I was going to say I missed you, but f I don't. So f I well, you know what it's been like. It's been fucking hard. I had a few offers, but I watched last week when you were we're on Fergin. Like Kev spoke perfectly. Kev, fucking hearts, big club, mate, big yeah. club. And you can see the fucking mate, the squad of players they've got since I've been in. Some good, got some good players. So in the end, I think it was a easy decision after that. You, uh, you loved hearts, I know, didn't you? I have always loved hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Following in Kev's footsteps as well, Rangers and Hearts. What, what would be your favourite club, Kev? Hearts. Club sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, you, you loved it at Hearts, didn't you? I, I did. I, I, I don't know what it is with Hearts. I think it's just one of the clubs that when you get into you, it's a. Uh, you don't know until you get go there, do you, Andy? You, nah, you're saying like it is. It's a massive club. Um, definitely, Hearts was one of the best clubs I played for. Um, Andy, you, you're at an age now where you can see your, the rest of your career at Hearts. Aye, uh, 29 in a week or so, so still got a... I know you've got a lot of years, like... but I'll tell you what, it wouldn't be the worst get Hearts promoted, no, no. finish a career you, in the Premier League. I wanted you, aye, I wanted to see you in the Prem this season though. No, the actual English Prem, the Scottish Prem. Love to have seen you in there. But... But then as a year on, I don't, think sport, a, I don't think there's any argument that Hearts are one of the biggest clubs in Scotland. Mm. You know what I mean? Would you, aye, I would Where play, would you put them? Behind Aberdeen maybe? But the fans are third, third, third or fourth. fourth. Uh -huh. Third or fourth. That's what I think. Aye, right, I would agree. Any advice for him, Kev, for the, any, Mate, for the just, Hearts fans? Just, uh, uh, the old fucking saying is, just give it your all, man, and just make sure you appreciate playing with the jersey because they fans up there just love somebody that fucking absolutely gives it everything. They don't like f frauds. Kev, see, uh, the, going away to think that's was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah. The fans How good is it, though? Oh, mm, it's unreal. Aye. But see when, do they hammer their own players? As I much as they hammer... He doesn't never, mind that, so don't they? Oh, I never noticed it, but <laughs> staying again, it's one of them that see if you're that player on the end, of, that's when you notice it. But when you're going there and you get liked and the fans take to you, you don't really notice that. But I never noticed at any time when I played that the fans were too harsh on anybody. Uh, Did you get your feet under the carpet straight away? Uh, <laughs> what about that last? How <laughs> many times did I say that? Yeah, I'll see, see Jen right though, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> see Jen right? As you know, right, uh, uh, there's been a few offers over the time, right, and this is no word to lie. <laughs> yeah, see that People week. kept saying to me, if you leave Scotland, you're scared of Shane Duffy. So I was like, <laughs> what? So I was like, fuck this, I'm saying for a Scottish team, man. I'm not moving. <laughs> I actually hope that Hearts get Celtic in a cup. Oh, that's I've been a chance, Emmys. That's what we're saying, we're hoping you're going to play. I know. What's I don't the know. talk of that then, you're not sure, mate? Not sure yet, obviously. But Hearts beat us in the quarters last year when I was at Rangers and. Because and I was on the then. bench, and so I, I, I don't know if I can play or not. Obviously, I hope I can, because it's a big game. That'd be brilliant. But, Nate, Nate, your first Hibs Hearts game is Nate fans, man. And Big Jig. Big Pool. Aye. You know what, you know what Jig's like, but he's, 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 he's like a coach. It's sometimes, obviously, not going to do every training session, but I always think your manager's made a, a disciplinary, and your first team coach is obviously taking all the deals, and then you need that guy who's going to be like the the laughing and joke about the place and Jigs Honestly. man Jigs been brilliant he's amazing Jig I didn't remember when I, I thought I was hoping you, he, he does what I know he watches this I was hoping you were going to come can to I me can I stand him <laughs> <laughs> no yeah he's actually a class guy isn't he what do you, you make of the music and training and stuff like that his music that's what they do in the warm up they uh, play the ghetto bass there's a ghetto how blaster how did you know that not even me what there's so, a ghetto so, blaster so, so basically see when you go for your warm up there's, a, there's, a, there's like a speaker at the training pitch playing like origins and that and you'll go like a lap Run the pitch for your warm up and the, like, the, the fitness coach like carries a speaker around the pitch, class, playing like Ocean Colour Scene and Oasis, Arctic Monkeys now, it's tremendous. Mm -hmm. That's bizarre, isn't it? Know which song they should play? I can boogie. <laughs> 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 oh, brilliant. Um, what about the first few days? Good squad. Who do you like in, well, last time first, Heart Squad, Boyce, Naismith? Boyce, Naismith, cracking two players. <laughs> You don't know any <laughs> and, and the other one, Craig Gordon. Oh, oh Gordon! Oh, hey, have you He's played sticker yet? A bit of sticker, no, but no. honestly, I was generally hiking like, mate, I've been on this show and let's say I keep telling this snooker and Craig Gordon story, and I was like, 
Is he going to hate me? Cause, just because I'm here? Did he say that? No, mate, honestly, he's been brand new, but see, genuinely, right, no word that I, obviously, I've only taken a few days, but... What a keeper. What a keeper, is honestly. He? Is he? Aye, Does he chalk his gloves? A what? Does he chalk his gloves? <laughs> 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 I, honestly, he's top keeper, but generally, the squad is very good squad. Mm. Got a lot of good Jamie players. Walker's there as well, isn't he? Is he injured? Jamie Walker, Liam Boyce, who scored like 20 goals in one season, the SPL, Nasey. Craig Calcutt, who was flying at Libby. I, I thought he was going to go for Libby to down south, but yeah. he ended up obviously at Hearts. Christoph Berra still there. Peter Herring, mate, they've got a few. Is big Christoph back in the fold or is he... He's, he's back. Obviously a new manager. Probably a fresh start for him and he's he's involved in that, but he's injured now, so he's not been training in that, but he'll, he'll still be here. He'll be a big part. Big favourite. He wears yeah. the gum shield, doesn't he, Berra? Aye. Uh, he's just stopped dousing it in vodka Aye. before games, doesn't he? He's a machine, man. Um, Slaney, Jim Jeffries is back via... You played a part in Andy's movie, doesn't know, does he? No. That was a big part of it. Were you? <laughs> I don't know what to say here. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he, set, he sets you up when he sings it, you've no idea. No, no, get a <laughs> clue about it, man. Stop that. <laughs> have you met Jim Jeffries? No, I've not. Has he not about the place, Kevin? No, I think he's only, he's only director of football. So I think he's only director thing. of football, does that not mean he should be a bit? Aye, but you say, if you follow the government guidelines, you work from home as best you can. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the jet can sit down the North Berwick in, in his big house there and work for home, tell Andy that. He's getting fucking 200 quid a week instead of the 500 he's after. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to go and watch? You're going to go watch him, Slaney? Season ticket at Hearts next year? I would love to go and watch you. But uh-huh. the, the game, I would love. This is a hard one, Si, innit? Celtic play Hearts. Who are you supporting in the semi final? Celtic. Aye. Celtic, yeah. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting any different, mate. Like a shock of it. <laughs> see, um, see how, Si, we are obviously open goal media. Yeah. Could we get like tickets to go to a game on a Saturday as media? See any question that's not on there, mate? Don't ask me because I don't know the fucking answer. That's a good question, though. No, because we're media. Because if no, we, if imagine us rotting in. Surely you can sort it. A legend at heart. So no, sort of mate. I, I need to follow the guidelines. I had track and trace on the phone to me the other week. Yeah, you're See, looking for size lips. Imagine us in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> Ken. <laughs> do you know? Do you know no, before you start your shape. <laughs> The three years have been talking about how we're sick of you, mate. Like, well, you're trying to get him now. You actually said to me that uh, two weeks ago. I was like, how'd you never uh, slaughter you? He side, never slaughters you? you? No, I was going to say, for I've been out all weekend. I've spotted feel overweight. I don't know how you used to manage it. <laughs> She's talking about overweight. It's a touchy subject, mate. I got my body fat. Oh, done yesterday oh. for the first time in six months. I'm not t- saying on camera what Have it was. Have you seen the team for? No, I wasn't the heaviest in the team. I'm not going to say who that was either. No. But... Mate, I've always been one that my body weight's always good. I don't really put on weight in that. And then I do. even over lockdown, mate, I've told you how much I've been training in that. We've been leaving here, going for a coffee, I need to shoot for PT, yeah. do my runs, try to eat well and all that. My body fats, man. No what the highest you've ever been? Uh, it's a snooker score. <laughs> but honestly, how, you been on, how have you been on the ball? Well, you, <laughs> he, he actually <laughs> want me to tell you. No, have you felt, have you felt rusty? The first training session was by far the worst I've ever trained in my life. Was like, it one of them? I could not pass the ball to yeah, a maroon jersey, mate. Did the players wonder what the fuck have we signed here? See, generally, right, the worst see, generally, the first thing has to be good as well. See, generally, I'm jogging on, right? And I'm, I'm saying to myself, right, it's good to be back, good to get a kick now, just keep everything simple. Mate, one, the boys are playing two touch and boys are like kicking to me, and I'm like, I'm not going into this two touch game before I even pass a ball. Oh, <laughs> but then, oh, first thing we done was boxes, mate, it was terrible. Oh, yeah, in the middle terrible, of the Terrible, in the, the full time. Did anybody oh, train you, know? Nah, I've scared me. Oh, don't think I'm going to No. Oh, mate, I've had nah. that. I was just saying, I, I went, was shocking, I went to Portsmouth a week before the season started. Same as you, mate. I had a long summer. I see the first day, I can remember thinking, everyone's staring at me thinking, he is shite, man. Mate, you feel, but you feel like that. If you don't touch the ball for like two, mm. three weeks, you feel like that. Oh, well, it's brutal, man. It was a shambles. Brutal. Have you heard that before, nah? I had every session. <laughs> 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 Bombarded with messages for Hearts fans. It was mental on Twitter, wasn't it? Oh, mate, the. The picture that the the main guy at Open Goal, the headquarters as we like to call him, yeah. put a picture up of you, and it was the most liked picture in Open Goal history. Was so it? Was was it actually? I was good going, stayed today. Uh, <laughs> stayed even stayed more. I've, I've told you enough times, mate. Keep You'll saying, always keep, be the main man on this. You are the main man. Always be the main keep man. It. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> How many likes did it get? Five thousand some. Five thousand likes, mate. Not That's scary. That. Eh? Not bad. No, not Joker? one of them was a bird dog. <laughs> 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 Is it Neil the Joker? 
the Joker surely got more than that, nah? No, and that was obviously a video. That was worldwide, so we're not gonna we'll just talk about right. Scottish pictures. Right, okay, that's enough of hearts. We'll not speak about them again this year. Celic, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Selene, I'll ask you first, Lee Griffiths came to the rescue for Celic, but the game was a tough watch. What was a harder watch, that Celic game or your mum and dad kissing each other? Sorry, mum and dad felt it was. I actually said to his last week, mate. No what, joke. A, what a link, though. What a cue. Oh, good, good. The way we work, there you are. At and Dick. And, uh, <laughs> no, mate, what was I thinking? Mate, it seemed like I'm on this show. I actually don't think what I'm going to say. And I said, like, my dad forced me to Amsterdam, right? Yeah. Now, how bad is that? Then, everything you've said to me about your man, dad supported you. Then I was like, what a question for you to tee me up. Yeah. To say yeah, I was, praise. And then I was like, I look up to the, the stands, my dad eats a pie, and I hate him. <laughs> what <does> that mean? <laughs> mate, so my dad came in, he was like, I don't, I'll see it, he's going to say I'm going to punch your in. He says, I've got to go punch your in. I was like, just forget it. I said, I just have a laugh and all that. I said, you've got a laugh. You know what I mean? And uh, he's like, I was too done. He's like, I've even gave you my wee granny wheelchair and all that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, was that so, your wee granny? Was that wee ATZ wheelchair? Uh -huh. I mean, she was like, and then, I do you want to tell people what you had cut at the cooking show? I, so after he says to me, I need to stop saying this week, he then went and called your dad or what? On the See, on the cooking show, I was like, he's a pissed in tramp. A pissed in tramp? <laughs> what was I thinking? Mate, would, would your dad come on the show? I mean, but my dad's a, a, a great guy, but I'm painting a horrible picture. Mate, see, Nico's, he's like, a, do you know Nico's the football team? Aye. He's like a legend in there, eh? But to play? No, That's where he no. drinks, mate, and Nico's, but oh, like right. all the, all the drink, young team. Loves a drink, to be fair. Mate, get him on for a week. Uh, we'll get him on. We'll get him on next week. Yeah. He, he needs to wear that suit, though. Oh, he's still got that, I think. No, oh. we'll get him on next week. No, but the, the thing I was saying is uh, the family are raging with me, so I need to I need to rein it in a wee bit. Right, okay. on. If you feel me going a wee bit too much, just bring me back in. Okay. Right, so your dad, good guy? Disgusting. <laughs> 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 oh, brilliant. Right, Kev, I'm going to ask you the football question. Uh, again, say it like tough watch. Does that matter? Is it all about results or would you like to see them playing better? Every team that I've seen Celtic playing this season, they just sit in, they part the bus. But then again, as a manager in Neil Lennon, 3 5 2 works. But if you're going to hear the two boys out wide in the five, they need to be wingers, sorry. They yeah. need to be. See, see Celtic, the, 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 all you see is going from one side to the other side. It goes to Greg Taylor, he brings it back in, it goes into McGregor, it goes to Christie, it goes out wide, it goes out wide, and it just keeps going back, back. And then we eventually try to thread that border, try to thread the eye of a needle side. See if it does actually get there. What are they hoping to achieve by threading it through? Mm. I would like to see them get further down the wings and put crosses at the box, just bombard the box see, with that, crosses. Kev, I, I, I Make just, teams defend. I think that, but it's, you're right, you're saying with the white players, but... If you're going to play three five two, you've got to go with two strikers. See this how you're just playing. Yeah, in the whole. You've just got four, it's just so compact in, in the middle. And nobody knows where they're playing. And I said, I don't want to be too much in there, you know. See, because listen, why not? I've yet to see a good performance for him. Yeah, yet to see. I, I don't know what. How what can you play in the number ten and you didn't create one chance or, score or get one shot and goal? No, I, see, that's what you're there today as a number ten. And people can slaughter Christie when he plays there because he shoots on goal. That's what you want. That's what I want. For and he tries. 10. He tries. Goes forward all the time. Whatever. But wait, well, you know. See. If you were to ask somebody, if I was to ask Lennon, what does he do? I don't know what his strengths are as a player. What do you think? I, I don't agree. know. I think what, one time in the game on, uh, on Sunday, Slaney, he turned and he got he started dribbling and he got brought down. I think that was about the only exciting thing he did. And even then, it wasn't. A, you wouldn't think, oh wow, more of that. It see was, on see on Celtic, right? The the the, um, the performances haven't been up to scratch, but there's something about this team. Even last season, <clears> when Lennon came in, um, away to Dundee, he scored in the last minute. I waited to Marlon Brown score in the last minute. Rangers like the cup final. Um, I thought Rangers were the much better team. Yeah. They've seen it to win. So they've got an unbelievable mentality. But I think the way they're playing right now, Simon, Andy, Kev, the way they're playing right now. I like how you reference the three, Esther. Great, innit? Um, <laughs> I could agree. Just be myself, innit? Uh, just be yourself. But what you said, I, I, I could not agree with me, right? Because see, if you're, I'll say, a non Celtic fan point of view, see, Celtic have been poor for a few weeks, right? Yeah. But you always know they're going to win, and that's the best habit you can possibly have in football. Nice. You see, it's, it's nil nil as long as it goes, as long as it goes. You always have the feeling Celtic are going to end up scoring the winner. But mm -hmm. you're saying, does it matter? Aye, because they're not going to get away with it if yeah. they play better teams. Right. So, see, see the two European performances, Riga, <clears throat> Sarajevo. Yeah. You look at their group, I'm sure we're going to get into their group stage. They can't play the way they play the, in a group yeah. stage. Mm -hmm. And I know they dominated games, but they've got too much quality in the team to not create chances. But can I just say for the other teams and Rangers especially, I'd be worried now because see last year, up until Christmas, Celtic played like this. Celtic won a great up until Christmas yeah. last year. As soon as Griffiths came back, they're going Celtic to get... like, see now that Griffiths is back, Celtic like a different team. Uh, see yeah. when you watch him when they come in, he just gives you so much more. They're going to get Runs in behind, off the boys better than Edward and 
and El Yunusi. Yeah. But uh, no, surely, him, surely there's an he argument. He the ball in the box because he knows he's going to be in surely there. Surely there's an argument he's the best finisher at the club. I know Edward scored. I think he's the most important player, honestly. Do you see the difference when he comes on? Yeah, Edward, in my opinion, is, is still the most important player. But obviously, I've played with, with Sparky and I, I know how good a finisher he is and how, like, every time he, he strikes the ball, hits the target. He just mm. hits the target all the time. Yeah, and see, I've I, I seen him at the start pre season. He said he's overweight. He's looking brilliant. Brilliant. He's looking sharp. He's looking great. So I don't know what the nonsense are talking Celt- about. Hang on, Celtic are going, they're going to improve. They're going to get better. But like I said, they, for the for, for the performances not being great, you, the best habit you can possibly get is win with, with no point. What would you say it's doing to you, but why are they performing like this? Would you say <laughs> that they're not? I, 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 I generally think it's no doing to you. I don't like it. I think it's down to the teams are sitting in, right? But yeah. I don't think Celtic know how to break teams yeah. down doing that. The, the goal came from just getting the boy out wide. Yeah. Bit yeah. of skill from Ayer. Put it in. The, 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 the St Johnson fullback was poor because he, he, I think he didn't know where he slipped or no. And it's just a simple cross, and Griffiths found a yeah. bit of space, and it was a goal. But see on that kid, see the see, see the way how high El Hamid was for the goal. Yeah. That's where he should be playing the full first. Of course, half. he should. And Greg Taylor Instead should be on the side. halfway Aye. line. I see Frimpong. If you stop Frimpong playing for Celtic in the first half, you stop Celtic. And Tanzi yeah. done yeah. well. Tanzi have done Frimpong well against him. Frimpong could have went ten yards mm. higher. Yeah. And then what does Tanzi do? Does he go one or does he stay? Yeah. And that gives my cart. My, you then draw my cart out, and it leaves me a space in the middle. In the pitch. Europa League games, I thought Frimpong was Celtic's best player. Yeah. yeah he, He's, he's the type of player where see if the game's flat his energy's like infectious for everybody mm-hmm. and see because Celtic are playing with wing backs and they've not got obviously an out and out winger in front of them your wing backs need to be ball carriers they need to, if they're spaced they need to drive with the ball forward, yeah. and I think it was the the first game the Riga game he was he was outstanding to be yeah. fair and he was he, a main creative force but see when Griffiths are in a yet he's not there you can't put balls in the box because no. Edward and Elunis yeah, are no. standing on the edge of the box the thing is that, we, that's brilliant for St Johnson yeah. that's what they want the thing is with, um, with, with Griffiths like he was standing way out of the box. He was near standing beside Ayer and he's seen how things develop yeah. and it's just gallery self into poor defending because you've got to think, a couple of minutes to go, you've got to pick up everybody. Just found it and his header was fuck you know that header? Remember we played them head tennis in the mm-hmm. in the up yeah. at Lennox he's, time. Near, he? he's unbelievable in the air for a wee guy, he is one of the best headers. He has a big I've statement for If I'm playing centre midfield, I would rather Griffiths head than me than Edward. Is that a big statement? No, I like that, but I think with Griffiths, what you get is see because technically with, with, with shooting ability, Si, I think he can. He's but he works harder off the ball. I, I know he does. Makes but see, run. see, if he gets that half a chance, he's going to score more times with a half a chance than Edward's going to score with half right. a chance. Look at the one where he he, he got past mm. the defender and he's tried to fire it across the face of the box. That, Edward wouldn't have done that. Mm. I just but then obviously he's, but, Edward does other things that Griffiths. Ah, well, course, that's what I, was going I, just, to say. I just think that Griffiths. Them together, two together. I yeah, right. I was going to say. That's a perfect combo because. One's more drops deeper, links up the play, can score goals. The other one plays off the shoulder, defenders runs in behind. So, but what's that? As a pairing, it's but ideal. Edward's best form last year was when Griffiths played. When Griffiths came back in, yeah. the but two of them is, together were brilliant. I, I, I agree with that, right? Mm. But he's played up front with Celtic before himself. Uh, what is what, why is he his he performance dip so much? Clearly, it's uh, Slaney, we talked about before that some, there's something going on in his head, right? So. Instead of maybe no, he's not down tools. He's not. He's not down tools. There's things in his mind that are, I've seen that, boys down tools, and he's not down he, tools. He's still running. Even when he's, he's still trying, running, he's, he's still trying. What that? he's doing is yeah, yeah, there's right, something so. in his mind. He needs to. Um, he needs to. What's what am I looking at here? What I'm trying to see. What, what I'm trying to see is something's just upset him in his head. And instead of playing to keep people talking about him. It's as if it's, it's letting the other way. It's going the other way. What, what thing would you say? Do you think a, a club? I think, <clears throat> I think, I don't know whether it's a club or whatever. Maybe an agent said something to him, Slaney, mm-hmm. or something's just a thought in his mind that makes you think. You know, sometimes when you get thoughts of everyday life and it just makes you think. Mm-hmm. I think he's dwelling on something. I think it, that needs to disappear for him to fully concentrate on the football. Yeah. I need to see how get back. I need it flying. I need the tempo up. I need to see him much But then see when Christy and Griffiths came on, I thought the tempo was good. Yeah. And Brown as well. Brown as well. People calling for Brown to come at the team. Nah, not got a clue, mate. No. He's said, I, I know he said Edward Celtic most important player, but... I actually said Griffiths, hey, which I'll probably get slotted for a bit of him. Aye, you, you did say Chelsea will win the Prem. So we'll move on. <laughs> I said Edward top four as well, so when you laughed at that. Aye, you're flying, you're flying right. at that one. But for Brown, I think he's Celtic's main man in there. When he doesn't play, they slack half completely and he came on you've seen him uh, made a huge difference but do you know what I hate now about life and football and Twitter we're the same probably like everyone on Twitter they concentrate on the manager's formation and the players need to do better innit? Yeah. I'm watching all of you and Cham doing nothing a he good an, player he, he needs to do more playing up against a guy a young kid in Ali McCann you need, you need to impose yourself more on the game yeah. 
Even really? Inning can't make him do that. So no. it's got to come for him. They're being picked to play, Si, so they, they've been given that rule to go and express themselves and make it sure that the other one's been picked to be after. Uh, but do you not just feel like now everyone just blames the manager? Ah, and it's not a great ah, performance. The players need to do, mate. Ah, it's the same like my United are going to get blamed for, for all of them. And rightly so. And I, but I'm just saying, the players, the, the manager can't come on and say, you know what, you come off for 10 minutes and I'll show you what you're supposed to do. Players got to have their own mindset to do what they need I can't to do. Wait for the old firm. Wow. It's going to be a good game. Yeah. That's it's going to be, be so exciting, isn't it? See, on the talk of the old firm, I can almost guarantee there's going to be a set piece goal. Somebody will score for yeah, a Yeah, because Rangers look poor. Both of them have. Both, the both them have. have. Rangers Although I think Celtic like have got better defending than with Duffy there. Aye. But, but, but I get what you're saying. Well, I'll say the opposite. I think Rangers are usually brilliant at defending set pieces, but the last three, four games. Yeah. Donaldson we'll get, should we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll see that. Next, yeah. next week. Tactics board. Fergie coming on, get the tactics board. So used to be the Rangers guys. Do you think he'll change when Fergie's here? Do you think he'll go and shell a wee bit, man? I don't know. I, I've I've got a tactical masterclass of how Rangers can win the game against Celtic. And I've, wow. I, yeah, I've also get a got tactics board. Does, does it does it does it involve a uh, involve um, set pieces? No, it involves the wide areas. What I'm going wow. to say is, in my eyes, wait. my tactical masterclass: Tavernier and Barisic don't dare go forward. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they do. We'll see, Sam. We'll see. I think there's an opportunity for Rangers when in set pieces. When for me, Shane Duffy being so dominant there, uh, I, I sometimes think he's, he's got a man to pick up, right? And sometimes he leaves his man to just to go and win the ball. See the fact of the matter is, could right? Rangers capitalise on the fact that he just looks like he wants to go and win the ball all the time? See, the, see could the, be, that's what I want him. I the, know, uh, but Sai, si, you can't win the ball all the time because uh, a chance, a couple of chances there at Johnson, he's going to win things and get caught out, and somebody else has got a chance. See the other box though. See the two chances Ross County had the other day. See if that's on Shane oh, Duffy's head. That's two goals. That's what I mean. Uh, all day. Yeah. And obviously yeah. Donaldson and uh, Donaldson and the boy yeah, um, uh, Morris. Morris. See think. the wide areas. Is it Rangers wide areas or Celtic wide areas? Both. <laughs> Did I tell him? Because he'll go home and think of it. No, are no, you, both. Are you, I'll, I'll, I'll 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 you, no, it's you. You, you, you be him. What oh, about Fergie's on? Oh, so he is. So are you teaming up with Are you going to be... Kev, you and Kev. Do you want to do the Celtic man? We could put them right in Listen, the Listen, I'm, really. no, I'm no saying who'll win the game. Because it, it, it could go either or. In my opinion, it's how Rangers could get an advantage in the, the game. The only thing is, if Fergie tells him that they're not doing it, he'll just agree with it. But both my me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, last bit on Celtic Europe, Europa draw AC Milan, Sparta, Prague and Lille Is that a nightmare group for Celtic? Do I say I think it's actually quite a good group for them Because apart from Rangers and maybe Hibs Aberdeen All the teams are sitting in Whereas they're going to play these teams They're going to come out yeah. I might actually see a good Celtic side Attacking, defending, whatever <laughs> it is I don't know, I think the AC Milan AC Milan under the AC Milan that won all the European Cups all the years ago they're there to be to, to get against um, I don't know so I think it's a, I think it's three you, good games do you know why it looks a nightmare group because AC Milan came out pot three Aye. but Celtic can't fear Sparta Prague no. nah. like, I agree it, it, it's on paper it's a, because the way the pot seeds came out it's a difficult group but Celtic should go through and I think they will go through it's as a one-off well. tie is it one-off a home are they doing home and away hold oh, me in your arms <laughs> don't let me go I want to stay forever closer we stay home and oh, away <laughs> uh, Paul Swain what do you think of the group very tough tough circumstances what I had to face but I overcame it yeah and exactly and they they as well. they overcome it Who would, who's the biggest test Leo I think they've spent a few quid didn't they Leo are um, are they top of the uh, French league? Second, I think they're second. But I can't wait to see Big Slatan coming. Oh, we can't even get to see it. Are you watching the telly? Oh, you can't go to the games, but uh-huh. you think Big Duffy will have a slap him about? Slatan will fling him about, won't he? I think. Yes. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> but AC Milan, like I don't know any. Of their, I couldn't tell you. No. I, I think their best player is a thirty-nine-year-old Zlatan, isn't it? Uh, I know. I've, a couple of players, but it's the Portuguese team pumped him the last. Where did they finish Mario last Arby, year? Yeah, wasn't the wasn't the higher. Well, like fifth or sixth. Um, so twelve points behind Lazio, who Celtic beat. Aye, uh, thing is they've they're, they're obviously know the AC Milan of the past. It took them twenty four penalties to go through it. By the way, did you watch highlights of the penalties? <laughs> no. Oh my days! Yeah. That real I've had about six penalties to win the game. Did I? Right, Shut and up. honestly. See, see some of the penalties he scored done around that it was going under his arms like through his hands and that and he was like he's a legend raging myself but see when he scored and then he missed a penalty skied over the bar and then see when he saved the winning penalty he was like ah there it is <laughs> <laughs> I think mate you should have went through about 10 <laughs> minutes ago <laughs> but nah like I said Celtic they'll need to play better than they've played though they'll yeah. need to play better than they've played against Regan Sarajevo but 
I think they will play better, better opposition, like Kev says. The teams are going to come out, so they're going to have more space to play, and they're better than these teams. Do you think if Celtic and Rangers, one goes through and one gets put out, it's an advantage for the league? No. That's a lot of nonsense. I think it is, yeah, definitely. No, I wouldn't say so much in a knockout. I w- if, if one didn't go through the qualifiers in the group, 100% it's an advantage. See, when you... Oh, what, now they're, I thought you meant before this. No, uh, they never made the group stage. See, when... 18 games, travelling, you could be travelling a certain amount of miles, time zones, Thursdays to Sundays. Like, see, when you played in the Europa League, did you find it hard after the Thursday night come to play on a Sunday? The, fir- the first Old Firm game of the season, we played UFA in Russia. Six hours time difference or something like that. Didn't get back to like five in the morning. Played the nine men for half an hour, uh-huh. and then played Celtic on Sunday. It was one 0 remember the in Cham? That was yeah. the one. But Celtic, 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 Celtic battered us that day, but you could just tell, man, we were so flat for the get go. So here's a question for you: After you, you obviously played away in Europe, after you went over there, performed very well. Very well. See the next time, obviously you travelled back. The next time you went to perform, was it was it tough? No. <laughs> not a goal sign. I still went. You just ramp. continued your fight. Just rampant. Throw was... dominant. All the three combined. I told I need to stop talking about that. You're abusing Game of Thrones. Aye, that's not like my oh, the mate, best mate. How good is it? The best. But, I keep missing but the last, how bad's the last season? I've not seen it. Don't see oh, it yet. <coughs> yeah, terrible. I keep missing the full episode because see at the start where you can go off a line, the the uh, part, you see the, the parts. Yeah. Not that. Just skip right to them, you know what I mean? What, are you getting horny? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, talk about Europa League group, but this season it was never more important for both teams to get to a group stage, in my opinion. Why? Financially. Oh, financially. After, right. after like, oh, this right. COVID stuff and Great all that point, as well, financially it? it was massive for both teams. Brilliant, mate. Thank you. Financially, you think that, um, financially I was broke when I came back. <laughs> what? Now what? you're, now you're, now you're much, flying to it. spent? Celtic. Now you've got a few quid in your pocket. Celtic and Rangers both money. rely on the fans side, like the home games, the big European nights. I think that's going to affect them with these teams coming over to play. I think so. I think it does oh. affect it definitely. No, it's going to be. It's going to be difficult. You, you imagine AC Milan come to Parkhead. No fans. Sixty-three thousand normally. Yeah. It's an extra man. Whereas now there's going to be nothing. Nah. It's, Jake, uh, that's why we're seeing weird results in it. I think so. Mate, you called it. Somebody Aye. put it on Twitter this week. You I said there's going to be du- there's going to be grubbins because what is it? Drubbins or grubbins? Drubbins. Drubbins because there's no Aye. fans. Eight or nine. You said. Hey, psychic slain at it again. Yes, mate. Unbelievable, isn't it? What's your next prediction? Oh, I've got to say something about my dad there. <laughs> 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 can't help you. Don't bother. Don't bother. Right on to Rangers. Kev, I'll, I'll start with you. Did you watch Rangers on Sunday? I did. And what, what was your thoughts? To be fair, they're a bit like the Celtic game side. We all um, got all the ball. Aye, had all the ball. It's just whether they could. Uh, Capitalise on a couple of opportunities, nothing really clear cut. Um, the penalty was definitely a penalty. The boy's on the wrong side, definitely. he's um, he's he's, he's realising the wrong side and he's tried to get back in quick and ended up nudging over Morelos, Tavernier, or whatever you, Tavernier, whatever you call him. What do you call him? Tavernier, Tav. Um, great finish, got to admire the amount of goals the guy scores. Um, so great finish, what the penalty? Aye, but what I'm All saying, right. he's still got to finish it, Si. Right. Um, good finish. Um, and Rangers were Rangers were like comfortable, but seeing the, that, that the chances that Ross County actually missed, they won the last few minutes for the big boy Carl uh, Morris. Mo- Morris. No, Carl Morris. I think it was the other oh, boy. Donaldson. Donaldson. Donaldson yeah, the header. He's tried to header it instead. That, that, just that just glance it. That, that was a setter. setter. Yeah, just glance right. it, what, and that would have been. Was that one 0 up? Ah, this Rangers was like, were one Rangers were one 0 and it was what two minutes to go or something. Uh, it wasn't as short as that, but it was it was like ten. So it was. Aye. So that would have been. I think just if he just glances that, let's. He's actually tried to head on the ball, and then obviously the boy Barker's got a goal at the end. Um, tired legs, good finish. Goalkeeper maybe possibly could have saved it, but you'd expect a comfortable win. Cypher Rangers at home to Ross County. They got the three points, and after you know what I mean, that's all it needed. Was that uh, a penalty? Should it have been? Uh, yeah, it's uh, a penalty. Uh, yeah. See, on Tavernier, though, he he makes a penalty again. He's delivering it. Uh, Aye, mate, he's. he's so- Tell me how you say it. Yeah, I need to ask you because you were not on last week. I need to ask you. I got slaughtered on Twitter for saying Tavernier was Rangers' best crosser of the ball. Oh, aye. So him, him and Bourne, that's... But I'm Tav, not Tav, fan. Tav, if Tav... Oh, it's, it's difficult, right? What I will say is, I'd say Tav's crosses are better, but I'd say Bourne is a more consistent crosser because Bourne is like a feeler. Do you know what I mean? He, he just, goes for the easy cross, I feel, whereas Tavernier... Bourne feels it in areas, yeah. but see when Tav whips his deliveries, they're so much harder to defend. If you're, right. not, you're not a striker, a striker. Did you prefer it if somebody just like stood up in a good area or whipped it at pace? Oh, if you, into if you whipped it in with pace, you, you know you can make that run so that, out of that area. That's Tav. Tav Aye. whips his crosses at like 
and if he gets it right, they're, they're undefendable. But Burner's brilliant at putting it into an area, though, like consistently. I well, think with Tav, when he's running with the ball, he's, he can do both. Where he's running, he can whip it in. And I see that one I like he does when, when you're running down and, and the fullbacks come towards him and he whips it right and round, uh, yeah, right yeah, round yeah. the fullback and he's, he's basically saying to the strikers, there you go, uh, you make Ra- the run. Rangers fans don't seem to overly love Tam here, do they? Nah. I, so quite I, I said, I, I said like, uh, on the Cooper show, he's fit to wear a Rangers jersey. I said that didn't it because regardless if he makes a mistake, he's always there. That's I what go. I always say and that's why when people say he's not a captain and that, I'm like, so see like the Galatasaray again that's a captain's performance yeah. driving the team on all the time when the chips are done and if he does make a mistake he's always there to get the ball and try again but mate 53 goals for two, in 250 games for right, right back and I don't care if you take penalties like, you still need to score penalties because see if you end up missing a couple like you has in the past you get took half of them yeah. but since you get took half of them they could score one so see when you're playing left back what was your crossing like just float I, I, I've never she generally I no, no but she generally no, I don't like you're probably going to slaughter but I've never been across in my life, yeah. so I'll never be a Tavra burner. So I, if I played left back for Reigns, I may have played inside the pitch as like another centre mid and Ryan Kent and boot wide. So I, my, my cross is not as good as theirs. Dead ball, I've got a good delivery, delivery yeah. but in play crossing, nah. But there's a crosser there. Are you going to ask me about the Rangers game? Or you just go slot my crossing. No, no, no. Uh, so the Rangers <laughs> game. Important, <laughs> important thing I'm taking away for the game is. That's the first time Rangers have not played well this year and won. Yeah. The other Whoa. two poor performances, they drop points. But and like I, I said earlier with Celtic, like that's a good habit they've got. It's massive that Rangers just won the game and they never played well. I agree that it wasn't their best performance. Is it because Stephen Davis wasn't the point as well? Again, I'll, Jack and Kamara played centre mid at Ibrox for me. And it's just too safe. Mate, I think uh, Davis has made the big difference. Stephen Davis is a massive difference, mate. Because I, I, see, I keep I feel mate, like I Ray, Ryan Jack will play the year last year. I don't know, but it's one or the other. Well, two set, two set and set. If you've got Ryan Jack or Stephen Davis, who are you picking? Who, who would you Davis, pick? Davis, in your, Davis, Steve Davis, Davis for, me. for me. I'm not picking either. Both of them, uh-huh. generally. But like, I, I could show you performances where they've both played together and, and they've been brilliant, and Rangers have been brilliant. It's, it's, in my opinion, what, what, what happens with fans with these type of games is it's too reactive on the result. And I know you have your opinion, and sometimes it's right. But I've seen the three of them play together in big games so many times and been brilliant. So like individually, maybe it didn't work that game because Devo's been excellent the yeah. last few weeks and he has been excellent. So maybe that's why you've noticed it more because he's came out and the performance hasn't been great. But see, Phil, when Devo came on, he was, he was good enough. Yeah. That's what I mean. He just <laughs> he makes a big difference, doesn't he? Because he, I think Kent and that play better when Davis is actually feeding yeah, them I think the I think with Davis, Ryan Jack's a sitting midfielder and a, a proper sitting midfielder. He very rarely goes forward. Whereas Devo can do the sitting midfielder role, but he's got an eye for a pass going forward. That we clip over the full back into yeah. Kent into Barris, it's got the left. Devo's got that in him. I'm calling him Devo, I don't even know him. <laughs> um, I just think that can you accommodate the two? Kamara's always the one that's questioned, but again, Kamara played a couple of lovely through balls through Morelos, yeah. and, and Morelos missed a couple of good opportunities. Morelos scores them. Um, you're talking about Kamara saying yeah. great okay, passes. So enough. it's 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 a hard uh, one to th- get the balance right, and I think. We too easily nitpick at the negatives and sometimes yeah. just look at it's one of them games. Ross County's come to defend the Ibrox. Rangers have managed to win the game 2 0. That's all they've been hoping See, for. See, the thing is, I'm alright, so I'm talking about how fans like react to a, a bad performance or a good performance. There would not have been one Rangers fan that if they picked a start in 11, Scott Arfield would be in the midfield. Aye. Scott Arfield is undroppable now. There's yeah. no way you can drop him. Me, He's I actually been the best watched, for about six weeks. I watched the highlights a bit more closely and, and see. see He's, he's a clever footballer, by the way, isn't he? Yeah, he's very and clever. I think he gets under... Wee nice sweet one touch, and he's... One touch, to you, it's yeah. the movement, it's like the one touch, and he's always aware of that next ball that's coming to him. He's like, you know when the old saying, they say, paint a picture before the ball comes to uh, you? I think he's already painted the picture, and he's got the two, three options and hoping. And he, he's off the ball And he's very well hard to, to pick up, because he just drifts in and out of place. He's like, who's picking him up? Are you not? But he's over here now. Like, there's no yeah. one person picking him up. He's always... Uh, he gets in good areas. But he's form changing since you've been up to his house. Aye. What, what happened then? And you went, what happened in there? Slapped his ass repeatedly. Absolutely. I'm flat ready. You're flat? I'm flat very What's up with you? What is up? Do you know what's happened? Worried about my dad. <laughs> <laughs> You're no, mate. Well, uh, so, sorry, see you on Rangers. Well, so You're I mean, playing well. Is Morelos his form of you, worry? I, I think, I think he's not playing well. Matt, for a, for a neutral's point of view and a Rangers fan's point of view, if Ryan Kent is injured, goes off form, 
I don't think he's played that uh, great. Yeah, last last this, is, this is my this is my issue. Um, if it happens with Celtic, Forrest gets injured, Frimpong's in, Edwards out, a jetty comes in. They've got players there it can replace. If Kent gets injured, have Rangers get the players there to keep the performances up? That would be my only issue there. Mm. Hmm. And they get it on it, please. What, I what I would say is, no, I would agree with you, Slaney, because it's it's yeah, uh, yeah. you're going to need the uh, squad God. rotations and stuff, but. <laughs> You're saying there if, if Edward gets injured, a jetty comes in, a jetty's injured too, so can you bring him in? See, see with Rangers squad, do you, do you know what I'm saying with that one? No, no, no I, I do agree with you, but surely it's a good thing I know that they're playing well, they're winning games, the majority of their games, and he's not playing well, well as well. Hey, that's because, point was. to be fair, he's no, he's not been what he was, obviously, I don't think there's much doubt about that, but Rangers have been too reliant on Alfredo's goals for so mm-hmm, long, yeah. and he's actually not playing his best, not scored that many goals, but they're still winning games. Uh, what a result beating Galatasaray. Did you see it, Paul? Honestly, mate, unbelievable. Um, since Gerrard's came in, I've been one of the ones quite critical of him in the league. I've not been critical of one since Andy's came on. You'll notice that, <laughs> not at all. And I'll continue to be like that. But in Europe, has been unbelievable. And I'm not just talking about uh, sitting in, which Celtic Rangers, when they get the big results in Europe, they've in the past they've sat superb analysis thanks Andy I love that because what they've done they've sat in in the past I'm getting excited because they've done that and and then they've maybe got the odd 1-0 to 1 but Rangers have just went out Porto Galatasaray big guns in Europe and absolutely bamboozled them off the pitch for a great play um, so the second goal was brilliant wasn't it oh, both of them were playing it for what, the back what is what, what is no, mate, looks, I, I couldn't agree with you more honestly like growing up watching Rangers in Europe right and see anybody out there, don't think that I'm saying that Gerard or this team is better than other teams and that this is just my, my point and people should agree. Rangers notoriously in Europe have sat in, tatty, counter-attack, or hit, score for a set piece of anything, right? And they've been successful to go to the Cup final. Yeah. Rangers are actually playing these big teams and mate, they battered Galatasaray in the second half. And I, I'm not saying Galatasaray are unbelievable because they're, they, they're not and they didn't look like it, but Porto last year... Villarreal, Feyenoord, Young Boys, Braga, but like, they're all still big European teams, and Rangers have dominated possession in ninety percent of the games. So that's but, something that deserves a lot of credit. What's so even even more bizarre is even when Rangers last season went in the bad run after Christmas, and in, in the monks in, in the middle of that, the European form was still beat good. Braga. Yeah, knocked him out, and and that it's just crazy, isn't it? Yeah, Before, it's like you're saying about Celtic though. It's Rangers and Celtic have got players that they hurt teams when they're out. So see, if teams yeah. lose possession, we're at the halfway line. Rangers and Celtic could hurt you in five right. seconds. But we're trying to break down a team. Mate, like, seeing training in that, right? We're getting... Let's go back to the tactical side here. Cool, seeing like training. That. See when you set up and it's like just a tight V defence. How hard is it going to go? It's going to go ahead. Right, right, so you could pick anybody to do that. And it's it's hard. Like, it takes moments of quality or a mistake for it to break down. So there's going to be games where it does happen. But when teams play out against Rangers and Celtic, they're more exposed to space. Space in behind chances. So when they, they play these teams in Europe that give them yeah. that time and space, they can, they've got the players that can hurt them. I like the, the, the way they just play it. It's not just keeping possession for the sake of it. Uh, right. the, there's just one or two movements, get them on it, and then it's straight into the two times. Uh, I was actually, as quick as possible. Uh, that's how football should yeah. be played, Si. Like we, we talked last week with Fergie about playing it for the back, and we absolutely slaughtered playing it for the back. And Rangers went out the next night and fucking played it out for the back, all the way up to Tavernier scoring a header at the far post. Fergie knows fuck all. I know, Fergie fucking hell. So, but my point would be <laughs> is that See when you play out for the back nice and quick and people make the space to... to it needs to be close, you can't it needs, just go like that, it needs to be And you need players that, to be yeah. switched on to do it. Because I think when it came to Tavernier at one point, Davis made a good bit of movement in the midfield that allowed it to get out to the far side. A great cross, don't get me wrong, the full back defending or the goalkeeper, that cross was a big fucking high looper. The goalkeeper's got to just go and make yeah. that his own and clear it, you know what I mean? But fair play to Tavernier because he started it with the passion, the goalkeeper to Goldson to Tavernier into the midfield, out wide, and Tavernier's a guy at the far post. Yeah. And even, but the goal before that, the first goal was a great bit of football, pass, move, great touch with Hadji, what have you. Amazing. Very similar to Hibs goal. But that's that. the thing, they've, Celtic and Rangers both struggle to do that in the league because the teams just sit in and see, park the bus. See, the other teams park the bus, do you think they've done that because we've gave Gary Holt so much credit for oh, being a bus aye. driver? And now other, exactly. other managers are yeah. wanting that credit. And Levy, Levy, Europe. Do you think Callum Davidson could... Be a bus but, driver. See, you generally, right? One, both, both sides of the <laughs> story. Your St. Johnson, you're, you're playing against Celtic, they've got better players, bigger budget, but better team. That's what you've got today. Okay, to I agree. So, you know I mean, yeah. it's, it's yeah. Just, that's just football. Dundee United, when they went to Ibrox three weeks ago, yeah. four weeks ago, 
try to press, try to come out and play it and, and just got battered Aye. because it was far too much space. But that's where we've got to give our old firm team, our two big clubs in Scotland, Scotland Celtic Rangers, the credit they deserve that when they do play against good opposition in Europe and they're allowed to attack and play freely, they can pass, they can move, they can create opportunities when they play against sides that allow them to do that. So, bus driver's brilliant, eh? Bus driver. bus driver. Full of bus drivers. Bus driver. Full of bus drivers. But it's, it, it, happens in, it happens in loads of leagues, I know. Aye, you know it it Sean Dyche could be, couldn't he? He could be a bus driver, oh, definitely. Right. Uh, Tony Pulis would be, he'd uh, be the head of the bus train drivers. conductor, I think he is. <laughs> 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 uh, right, their draw as well. Benfica, Standard Liège, Lake Poznan. Fully expect Rangers to go through as well. Similar, aye. Not, nothing to fear. Uh, take Benfica, for example, probably the best team uh, in the group. I think they were pot one. Beat Porto last year, drew with Porto over the two games. Battered them both games, should have won the ball from Porto won that league. Braga third, obviously Benfica in between the two of them, beat them over both legs. So they're going to be a good team, team you need to respect, but nothing to fear. I, I fancy Rangers to beat all three of them at home. I think Rangers and Celtic could get quarterfinals this year. I, I would agree with you, I think they could, um, it all depends on the home the home ties. Aye. And there's no reason why Celtic and Rangers can go out to these teams abroad, in part of the fucking bus that everybody does today at home. I'm going to go future instance, right? They both go through, they both get to the quarters, they draw each other in the quarters. Wow. wow. By the way, see if Lenny does want to park the bus in, in Europe, so he could just get Gary Holt's licence because they look quite. Oh. Andy would be able to tell him. Oh, I know. They Maybe could ask a good point. Get fake ID. Get ID. Get ID. ID. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny could have borrowed your ID, mate. Got the garage tonight. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Right, we'll go on to other games. I did say that Kevin Nisbet was going to be player of the season. Nice. I know you've given us my Chelsea shout, so I need a big. But Nisbet, the free kick sensational by the Free kick's brilliant. He's gave the goalie the eyes. I, I didn't even think it was possible to put it in that side. The header, his header. He's got every mate. Mate, his header's questionable. Because see when you watch it in replay, it looks like he just kind of closes his eye it, and uh, turtlenecks it and as if it's just... But, fair play to the kid, he's got to be in the positions to get the goal side and you can see his comments as well as the fact that he wants to take the free kick. Yeah. And to, to put it in there, whether you question the wall or the goalkeeper, it's still a great strike. Um, Hibs look good, but Porteous, um, oh, Scotland I... call up. Um, talked him up. Talked him up. It's a shocker, wasn't it? <laughs> shocker. Uh -huh. It's a shocker. Um, but Hamilton, Hamilton, to be fair, missed the penalty side. They just scored that penalty. They could, they could have got the draw out of the game, you know what I mean? But it was, um, I don't know. Hibs, Hibs, Hibs are on a, on a run now where they're picking up points, yeah. regardless of how they play. Um, and Jack Ross is, is, is doing wonders. The Hibs fans have got to be delighted. How was, uh, how was Chipper Friday night after it flat? Very flat. Not only game, I didn't even know that the games were on Friday. I kept looking at a coup on Saturday and Sunday and couldn't find the games. <laughs> you and your brother were your pound coup. I pound coup both to score. I couldn't find the games at all. I didn't, listen, I've no, I can't comment on this week. <laughs> I couldn't get it. But, <laughs> you, you, huge weekend for Lewis Ferguson. Huge. Another goal. And he's going to have a huge transfer very soon. <laughs> it really is. Um, that boy, Remarkable. Um, as hard as I've always said to live in the footsteps of your uncle and your uh, and your um, dad. I mean, it really is. That boy's doing brilliant, Lewis Ferguson. Listen, the games I've seen him, he's, he's looked excellent. What would you say as a three? What would you say his is it a box to box midfielder? Yeah, aye. definitely. Is he good when you played against him? Aye, he's been decent. Aye, yeah, he's a good player. Yeah. What sort of level do you could put? Um, League One England, probably. <laughs> 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 oh, brilliant. Uh, who, who, who's, your, who's your bet for third? That's brilliant. Aberdeen or Hibs? It'll be between the two. Aye. Who are you going? Tough. Aberdeen better squad now. Nah. I'd say, just as a force of habit, I've got to say Aberdeen because they've done it for the last few years, but it's hard. Both, both of them have done well. Hibs what? look as if at the start of the season as well, because Hibs have always been more suspect of conceding goals. At the start of the season, it looked as if they'd improved that. Last couple of games, they started to concede goals again, but I'll, I'll, I'll stick my neck out of Aberdeen. I M think much there's an experience. Much week at Hearts, bro. Me? <laughs> that, <laughs> plus that, plus that, and a bag of chips. <laughs> well, then, Kevin, I think there's an inexperience at Hibs. Sorry, an experience? An inexperience right, at okay. Hibs in terms of finishing a season half up there, where there's Aberdeen, like Andy said, they've done it season in, season out. And it might come down to the fact that, right, Celtic and Rangers, I think the title are decided between the old firm games. Could the, the the third and fourth place be decided between how Aberdeen and Hibs play against but each other? By the way, has there ever been a better looking fight for third place between Derek McInnes and Jack Ross? 
Wow. Uh, Honestly, man. Right. Absolutely gorgeous just now, isn't it? Too. Dale's actually slipped it all Derek's right back. Derek's went straight Locked back. Been jealous, jealous, yeah. Him. Yeah? I'm jealous. Ah, it's <laughs> 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 uh, right, my favourite team in the league, Livy. Oh, go, oh. our Livy. We're Livy fans, aren't we? Aye. Let's Aye. be honest. That's a favourite team, and the big boy Constant is a favourite player. Player ahead. I've also had a soft spot for the Lions. Oh, you played them, didn't you? I did, I. Uh, they came, be- came from behind to beat Dundee United. Well, that worry, Mickey Mellon, as he can't afford to let games like that slip. He took the handbrake off, didn't he, Mickey Mellon? <laughs> I mean, wait for the bus joke. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any bus jokes this week? I was going to say, Nicky Devlin, he, but that's, he says to Nicky Devlin, the full right hand side's like a bus lane, and only he's allowed to go on it. Did he actually realise? He hasn't realised that. And anybody goes in the right hand lane in training, they get maybe, f- fined. Maybe. But he, he, he didn't get fined on the spot, you get a letter put through your door. See, it's not needed. How many points? <laughs> maybe he watches the show, though, and like actually enjoys that wee joke and just. I, mean, I think, I think managers. Be listening because it's how we learn and see the performance was like for Courtney Nickers, but yeah. that's how we speak in it. We sort of they be sort of sexy jokes uh-huh. on the performance. Uh, so I think they do watch it. Um, Livingston, brilliant, I think, really, really good. And Andy is a former lion. Do you see them staying up? Oh, staying up, easy. Ah, all day, all day. Aye. 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 I, I, I thought, I thought Dundee United would win the game to be fair. So did I. I thought that with Shanklin back. He's going to score goals and he? he's already been back. I know. He's already been back like, was it three weeks or something, scored a couple of goals. Dundee United as well, even though they just came up, you still expect them to be top six. Do you think? But Livy, I, I did. I, well, me personally, I expect them to be top six. But Livy always shock you. See, like, I, I always say, I get surprised. I, I predict Hamilton to go down and they always seem to like, shock me. Livy are similar. Mm. No, not to that level, but... I love What's it. Gary Holt's boy like Jason? <laughs> Holty, the most boring guy in football. Is he? Oh, Aye, he but is. He's I, honestly, I love, I love Holty, but I used to room him. I used to room him in away days, man. He'd be sleeping for nine o'clock. He's got, he's got a bladder like that cup. He's up about six times for a piss during the night. But because he's sleeping at nine, he'll like wake up, cross the eyes at half ten, going for a Can piss. He and you're like, he's, like, he's got glasses. He's got glasses. Old dog. <laughs> reads, reads books. Driver's license books. <laughs> so wait, can you see him falling in his dad's tyre marks and being a bus driver? Or oh, he's playing for a bus team now, so there's a good chance. But no, I hope, you hope he's a brilliant guy. But very he's even boring. got him. He's got his boy hitting the penalties now, isn't he? Aye, got it. Huh? I can't <laughs> believe he took penalties. Mate, hope he can't kick the ball twelve yards. <laughs> Taking pens. It's unbelievable how that's all came together. Who will finish higher, Kev? Livingston or Dundee United? Livingston. Based on that result. <laughs> no, no, I mean, Alan Forrest no. scoring goals as well. At, at the beginning of the season, I did say that the D United was struggling this league because um, I, I did get a lot of stick for it. And you did. I did. I, I got a massive amount of stick. I even got private mails that I'm yet to reply to because I wait until the end of the season to see where we're at. I like that. Um, but I just think that the D United they're too up and down on this side. They'll win. They'll get a great result and then they'll have a couple of shockers. You can't keep doing that. Whereas Livingston, you know what Livingston's turning up. They're going to be dogged. They're going to be rigid. Um, they might go a goal down, but they're, they're not, they're, they never get hammered. They never get hammered like three and four and to keep going. And we are in Forest. Or, or, you play with me here? I with me. Can you go higher? He's a great wee boy. Uh, go on me and brilliant. Uh, uh, will I get a bigger move? No. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think he's took over Law- Lawless's role as a baby at Livingston? Ah, I believe so. Is he good looking? No, I don't think so. Um, but he's just looking like Jamesy. Uh, no, I, no, I said Alan Ford is good looking, me boy, and all, but listen, <laughs> fuck my <laughs> bone with this, man. Mate, see, even though you said you feel flat, you've, you've been on the day, mate. Oh, since well. you said that, you've put it back. Mate, you've that, uh, I've, I've genuinely no slept in days. You, you still on the CBD? Red Bull kicked in there. Mate, I'm just on the CBD. On. I thought you were off the energy drinks. I, I've just noticed that. No, I'm uh, back on the monsters. Why? Woke up with one this morning. You're saying you're flat? Ah, mate, my head's so up, I just go, I'm going to go for it now and then bring it back. <laughs> it right, um, what was I saying there? Alan Forrest. <laughs> Alan Forrest, no, listen, it's a wee right, joke. See how it, in terms of his brother, how much do you like him compared to his brother? I despise him compared to his brother. But listen, you, see, when, see when he's his brother there, see when his brother's who, who he is, then you've got to stick in with him as well. Because if I start slotting, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Stay tight. I've got a wee badge actually, Ray. Does James, you feel the same about your brother as you feel about Alan? James, he despises my big brother, and rightly so. <laughs> We're we'll going to Scotland, uh, worst break, and back. It's not the worst break because there's been an even bigger break recently between Sunday and a winger. Uh, 
How is that break going? How is that break going? No, I'm listening. Back. Um, back. Back. Just back. Two, back. two wingers are back. Yes, sir. I can break it. It is a certain song. How come he's a bat? Who's pro? Uh, pro? Uh. <laughs> Just showed her the mask and she went, I'll deal with that. Yours has been tiny, so we'll deal with that. No, I'm on back to get that. Uh, I love her to bits and she's uh, uh, the, the, the... The winger for you. The winger keeps me The big L one came out there. Oh, is it? I love, love her to bits. Love her to bits? Oh, here, mate, you see, this is genuine. I've wrote my first song. Right, I'll go bring on. my guitar next week and I'll play it, please. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, so oh. I've actually, I've actually learnt, like, my, wrote it myself. Wait, sorry, is this... Rot, wrote it? Wrote it. <laughs> 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 so wait, have you actually made this is a big question. Have you wrote a song based on your breakup? I well kind well, since we've been back, what she means to me. Wow. And there's a line that says my body's grown old, so that's it. That, that doesn't mean anything to it, but that's part of the What's song. What's the name of the song? I don't know yet, that's what I need to get. But I'll come in and play it to you next week. Oh, is the word horn in it? I've not filled that in yet, but I could. But I don't think you should. I think you should keep it. Is it quite serious, so? Oh, it's serious, I So next week you might be a bit fucking what's up with him. Uh -huh. So it'll be good, mate. Oh good. yes, what a treat! Next week, tune in. Is Barry Ferguson on next week? Aye, we're doing all for him. Tactic boards coming as well. Wow. Been what a treat for him. Uh, did you devastated? You missed him. Have you seen him since you left Blackpool? A couple of times, aye. Last time I seen him was in social. Him and Bob. She's a tuna. Aye, Bob was biting his ass in the toilets. <laughs> and then <laughs> see, see, see him back at the, the table, but. I've no. It, see, it before he texts me, he texts me the odd time. Texts me on my friends, texts me on my my heart. So be good to date next week. I'm looking forward That'd to be amazing. Our, Spoke our to our you special. Mate, to be fair to Fergie, like he was brought with me last week. Like, and see, it's, a lot of managers uh, that have maybe dealt with me or older guys that have dealt with me because it's so easy to come on here and like Mate, slaughtered yeah. me. I'll suck up his ass now, right before he comes on the show. But it's generally true. It was some job that he didn't keep Blackpool up. Honestly, because the place was an absolute shambles yeah, at the time. Shite, you? So, to, to the situation, it, could, it couldn't be easy going for a teammate to take take the job right. when when the club's that low, cause, and even all the players are that low. So the fact that we stayed up, man, deserves a lot. Assistant manager was getting at donkey rides on Blackpool Beach. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's got on. Here we go. We've got a UEFA Nations League playoff via Israel, Israel tomorrow. Uh, can we do it? I need to tell you, like, I'm not optimistic here. I don't want to be like the bearer, but the last performances have just Aye. been. Great. Aye, we'll win though. But like, so see, Andy, see with the team tomorrow, where do we go, man? Because McTominay played the last two centre half, had a shocker. McTominay Who plays there, man? Aye. I think that's been Scotland's biggest issue. We said it last Get time. We don't know the best be, start eleven. What would your be? What would be your formation, and what, what personnel would you have in there? What midfield? I think the midfield is the most important bit because defensively we don't have a lot of options. What is it we're playing? Is it three four three? I don't even know, mate. I think we're playing ten six zero up front. But seriously, right? They're, they're playing 3 4 3 to accommodate for Tierney and Robertson, aren't they? They have I to be. They're 3 5 2 to accommodate that. I know, but that's that's that, that's generally why they're playing 3 at the back in general. Yeah. Because you've yeah. got two very good left backs that have to play, and that's why they're doing it. Does it suit Scotland? I don't know. I'd, but they need to. What I will say is that he, Steve Carter needs to get his starting 11, what he feels is the best. And by the way, play him in both of them. You get, yeah. There's no point in playing both of these games. Yeah. And Would who you, plays up front? It's a big question. Um, I think I, London Dykes. I'm right, telling I think. you now. Put Lee Griffiths in the team, man. I, 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 I don't care if he's played one game. He's I, I bang agree. up for it every game. I'm telling Lee Griffiths starts. For I me. agree, hundred percent. He won't. Is he in the squad though? No, no he's not in the squad, is he? No, is he on the squad? No, no okay, because he's not been playing. So the the are, are, but surely you've got to go and try and pull him. Strikers are Shankland, Dykes. Who's the other one? Bit Burnley. Yeah, yeah. Burnley. So do you go and Buck? I'd go. Would you go three five two and McBurney and Dykes? They're a handful for anyone. But see if you get crosses in the box. You've got two good crossers in the ball wide. Why not play two up and get, get crossed in the box? Right. Let's be attacking. Who's the wingers? Richie, Fraser. Have you, Fraser. Um, Forrest. Forrest, no, he's injured. Even Ryan, Ryan Fraser, though. You, you play him, I, don't you? See, see with the players, I don't think they fit in. To, their, the to a certain formation. But see, even the three at the back. Hmm. So your three defenders would be McKenna, eh, Cooper, McKenna, and Tierney. Yeah, three left back, eh, three left footers. I think uh, Cooper can play with both feet, can he? Can he? Yeah. Right, um, and then your right wing back would be Fraser. Fraser. Because Roberts would be left wing back. So would you have McKenna as the middle of the three? Yeah. I wouldn't I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, play McKenna. No. Who would but you play that? I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. See the, the players. Um, I, I would say it, and I, you might probably disagree with me here. Do you think Jack can play right back? No. Right. 
Brian Jack. Aye, yeah. could, they could, aye. But, but why, why, we, why should we do that? Why should we start? No, I just think we've not got a strong right back. <coughs> right wing back? Or right back? Right back if you play the four because we've not got but a strong right back. But see, when right you play back. the four, who do you play at left back? And who do you, do you play? That's, that's the, can, that's can, the thing. Can you, that's play, can you play Tierney at centre back, centre back in a two? I don't know. Well, he's now playing history would say no because he's never played there, so to put him into a big... Yeah, for a nation's you see how hard, Like, you see how hard it is for Clarkley now, but isn't it? That we are struggling to fucking sort the team out. I know, but that's not their job. No, I know. I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't I like to see. I that we've not stuck to a team, eh? Sorry, I wouldn't I, like I, to I see that Tom playing. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to see that Tom playing. No, I'm the same, mate. Eh? I, don't, I don't think. I think uh, John McGinn. I play that, boy. the weekend there against uh, Liverpool. Brilliant. But I just think we. Uh, see what you're saying about John McGinn? Play too defensively. Eh? I know, but I have John McGinn in. Top players that can attack. Aye, but we, we need to go and dominate the but game. We still need a defensive person because we're only playing three at the backside. Yeah. So we're still needing somebody to kind of protect a wee bit of the back three. McGregor can do that now. So then the next four, aye, but McGregor, you can put McGregor and McGinn in the two of them, surely. My, th- my midfield three. McGregor's just as good going forward as he is going the other way. McGregor, Armstrong, McGinn. That'd be my three. I would agree with you. I like that. McGinn and Armstrong. Right, right, so are we going to do it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, 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 do. I think we'll beat Israel, but I, we're leading Sai a convincing win, and I don't think we're going to get that. I would like to think we could get it, but I don't think we are because regardless of if we do win or not, it's never going to be. It's not, it's not going to lift the nation, is it? See, see when you look at it, right? Celtic, Celtic, Scotland have got good players. Oh, yeah. right. it's, it's going to be one of the strongest Scotland squads for for years. Mm. They've got good players and. Who, who, just fitting them I in can, I can't it. remember the Israel players for the last game who's their big players oh, El Hamid and Beaton plays don't they I mean, Beaton no injured but for me Israel were better I'm not trying to be too right. hard. Israel were better than us and, and Scotland's performances for a while what, what makes you think they're going to this is, the, this is the actual qualifier we win this one we get the, the one that gives us the one game to, to play Norway or uh, Norway or Serbia, Serbia. Yeah. it's uh, a game Imagine being a manager of Scott. I know, I know he's getting paid to date, Si, and we're just having a wee uh, debate about it. it. It's difficult, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, I, I think we've, we've got the squad of players that can I, be I, successful. I disagree, exactly. I mean, with that group of players. Aye. And in the UEFA Nations League, <coughs> listen, Steve Clark has had a, obviously done a brilliant job at Kilmarnock, but you're not going to get a better chance to qualify outside the UEFA Nations League Wales and Northern Ireland we, they do it every year why, can we not, why do we I not do think, it? and I don't know if it's just biased but I always think Scotland players are better than this so do I mm-hmm. so do I but, but obviously but we, 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 Wales, Wales have got, uh, uh, the Wales have actually got a good squad as well but I wouldn't say that Wales are squads much better than Scotland's which is baffling why you've still not been had the call for your country to go and lift the, the mood of the camp can you believe it how Holland's not called me up yeah, the Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right, last week, bit lads, we'll go into what a weekend in England it was last weekend. Spurs beat Man U 6 1, Liverpool lost 7 2, City lost 5 goals at home. What is happening, man? Steve, uh, Steve Slane. Paul <laughs> Slane. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Slane predicted it. Steve, Steve Slane. You did, you hey, did Stevie. predict it, though, didn't you? But honestly, right, let's start at Man U. Right, they're yeah, a shambles. I'm not a Man U fan. I, don't, I couldn't care less if Man U win or lose, right? But there was a bit of me that was angry watching the game. Like, it, it, it just can't be that bad. You couldn't be that bad yesterday. And like, they're, they're so unorganised. It's frightening. To go 2-1 doing right, to get a man sent off, which, which in my opinion was harsh, to concede that third goal the way they did a minute after was outrageous. See, see at half-time, somebody for UEFA should have came and took Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's coaching badges off him. <laughs> Fernandez and t- Fernandez and Matic. Some Matic off for McTominay and Fred. What? I've told you, mate. I'm what? Oh my god! What? What, what surprised me the most was putting Paul by left mid to track back. Pat Aye, Mark, like follow runners. And then that another thing, I'm team. sorry, right? Marcus Rashford, great guy, what he's done for the country and stuff like that. Tweets after the game saying sorry. Discreet. Stop saying sorry. Just run about a bit, mate. Yeah, See that. when they're getting beat, oh. mate. He's walking. He's walking about. See if you're that big a Man United fan, as you say. Sprint about. Yeah. The defence cost 200 million. That game, their, their defence cost 200 million. Right, we need to talk tell about it. We need to give him a full feature. Harry Maguire. Oh, mate, see, so the that most disappointing was, was Gary Neville. Gary Neville never singles him out. Why not? He's always, see, see the boy for Spurs. Um, who gave the penalty for Spurs? Sanchez. He came to him with that penalty and didn't say a word about Big Slabhead. What he done? See, to be fair, I, 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 don't, I don't single out any Scottish players. <clears throat> 
See Harry Maguire, unfortunately for him, right, he, he had good luck. You're still right. playing Gary Neville's, no, yeah? I know, but just in general, I, like, I'll, I'll, I'll say what I feel about Harry Maguire, so I'm not going to play him. <laughs> Bartley. Mate, Harry, Mag- Harry Maguire, unfortunately for him, had good lawyers and got him back to uh, Greek. He'd been Bernstein over there, to be honest. <laughs> that was his be best defence of the season, man. Be- honestly. <laughs> good <laughs> boys. Good. <laughs> what the fuck's happened to him? He's been doing that. I think it was the third Paul goal. did call it. He was spotting with what he said when he was at Leicester. What was it? What did he say? Defends on his 18 yard ball. He is good. See if the ball comes ah. from the box. He's good to either of it. Mate, we all can be. For him. Mate, we all can be. See, see, see when I think it was the third goal when. Um, was it, the ball gets played in behind to Aurea yep. and he squared it into Son and Son's got a wee toe poke Harry Maguire's managed to get square to Aurea and he's too busy looking to make sure that nobody's going to cut the ball back to somebody in the 18 yard box and Aurea's just played the ball through his legs mm. why don't you just fucking see, defend this is, stop the cross this stop is, the cross you don't get the goal at 2-1 and by the way what's Luke Shaw doing why is Luke Shaw running outside the box Mate, why is he running outside the box see at times though Maguire was at left back and Shaw was in the oh middle of the box so thinking, what's going on and here and then Luke Shaw's running outside the box this is the only thing I'm going to say right to defend Man U's defenders a lot it's indefensible because the mistakes was mental but Mate, the gaps between their midfield and yeah. their defenders oh. when they're down to 10 men was just just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Mate, there was just no organisation whatsoever. It's like what you say, see in training when you've got 10 men behind the box, hard to score. Hard to score against. They go down to 10 men, but they're still that open against Tottenham. You're a big Man U fan, it must be killing you. I love Man U. When I was dropped with Fergie, uh, and imagine him sitting watching that. When it happened. Mate, honestly, like, I, this has been going on years and years, but, and it just seems so shy of settling on the manager. Beat 6 1 and he's. His hands, he's tie five and he's right. Nah, there, back. The, and there, the there was a, there was a glimpse of him as well laughing when the camera Can panned to him. And I was like, you Do you think that even that, Pogba um, gave the penalty? He's smiling. I can't. Sorry, that, 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 I'm looking at the money to spend. So what, what does that tell you? I don't know, Kevin. I think that team finished the season well. well I know, but I, after the game as well, listen, listen, I, I think they should be. We've got loads of players. I'm sick of hearing this about. Listen. Every team need to eat summer strengthen, right? But they're still spent a hell of a lot of money. Oh, I know, agreed. I that performance like, there's certain positions I to get closer to Liverpool Man City agree but no getting pumped six on uh, day, I, I, day I agree that he's he's been backed 100% but they, they, they had to sign players mate they've been, they've been shocking against Palace mm. they've been shocking against yeah. uh, Tottenham right, mate they go back Brighton, for Brighton. Brighton hit the post yeah. about four or five times Aye. they could have lost there they, they, they can, get a penalty once they, the final whistle they, went. They, they could struggle they're going to struggle big time this season right. they're going to struggle <laughs> ok I'll ask you first worst performance of the weekend in the English Premiership who are you saying? Adrian's got to be up there. Mate, well, Eric Bailly or Adrian? One or two. Eric Bailly? Worse than... For his fucking worse pass. Worse than Maguire. <laughs> what about that pass when yeah. the goalkeepers gave him it? <laughs> but Adrian, man, come on. Liverpool. Oh, and the goal, isn't he? in the world for yeah. three years and Adrian comes in. My, my most hated thing with goalies is, is when, when they make a mistake or if they can see the goal when they're shouting, shouting. at players. Oh. He, he misplaced the pass. It got nicked, they scored and he was doing this, come on! Oh, like, Jamie Carnegie was brilliant talking about it. He said as a defender, went, I'm sick of hearing people say, you had your ass on that <laughs> He said uh, about the defender, but I'm sick of hearing about it's the high line. He went, every team in the world play at high line. It's the way they're playing. Ross Stone try to catch them Play outside. outside. Jumping up see, as the ball's being kicked. See, when I, when I, listen, I never played, but when I when we come through the roof and that, see, you try to play offside, like, it was just a, a recipe for disaster. Yeah. I can't believe it. Especially when there's no linesman. Remember when you're a guy and you're trying to play offside? They never done that last season. They were always a high line, but they never tried. I don't know. Do you know who done it? And here's an unbelievable insight. Bayern Munich did it. Bayern Munich two weeks ago beat me Hoffenheim 4-1. They played that, right? Now, I watched... Remember... Your uncle. I like Bayern and fan, Klopp was watched Bayern in the Champions League. Won it, right? Now, he thought, I'm going to change it. Right. I think, slightly. Could be wrong, I know. And the Arsenal, they done it as well. Listen, Lacazette went through twice. What about Roy Keane and Klopp? Though? Did we speak about that last oh, week? No, that no, was an amazing win. Ah, it was. But then Roy Keane's been kind of proved right because they are sloppy. I know, but that performance wasn't sloppy, sloppy though. Yeah. Roy Keane was actually pure higher praise than as well. How much do you right? wish Roy Keane was on Sky? Oh, oh, even for the how good why, that have been? why did they not put him on for every Man U game? Like, the Man U game and then only Liverpool. Oh, yeah. be brilliant. oh been brilliant. Right. been brilliant. What even worse performance this weekend? Andy Gray said on Being Sport, <laughs> oh, Pet no. should bring in Sam Allardyce as a defensive coach. <laughs> That's the what? worst shout Sorry, I've heard. What in the football. fuck is he talking about? <laughs> That's the worst <laughs> shout I have heard in football. See Andy what, Gray. How long? Ever? So, so see at the same time. They may as well just sign Ryan Shawcross. They may as well just sign <laughs> who's an R like Stoke defender. Uh, it was Leon Pope. Liam Robert Ridgewell, Huff. Robert Huff. Huff. The what is he talking about? Andy That's why Gould. they paid eighty million because they need to defend in the halfway line. So like, uh, albeit 
Oh. They've, they've been... You, you predicted this, so I'm asking you this question. Because there are no fans, is this why we're seeing mere defensive mistakes? 100%. Mate, Van Dyke never made a mistake for about three years. But you predicted See, since there's been no fans in, Van Dyke's made like four. Oh, you maybe, 20 right? years ago when you had a wee pair of glasses on and we're going, you got no fans. Is that, <laughs> 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 <Was> that <laughs> on you? <laughs> the world's so <laughs> radar. That's incredible. No, but I think, do you know why? The whole reason I said that was I took myself into training matches and, and reserve games when there was nobody there. Scores are crazy. Yeah. Like, even in training, I remember at Celtic, it was young, the, and then old, young v old. And something, like the young boys I'm talking about, like 17 and all that, yeah. who were busy and all that, used to, sometimes we would hammer the older team, who were uh, first team players. And then if you put that young team into the first team game, they'd be lost. Yeah. But sometimes that can happen. And I, I think, like you see the week before, Leicester winning 5 2 v Man City. Mate, you think it's, um, I don't know why. The pressure on the fans. Like, you know, the pressure think, you get yeah. with the fans when they say a team's attacking, you can hear that um, the atmosphere and it makes you maybe just defend a wee bit better where there's cousins yeah, none, none. See, top players and like fifth and sixth players, yeah. I think the only difference is mentality. I Aye. think that's why they are top players because they can perform in front of big crowds. Yeah, yeah. Like, I played with guys that played in the Premier League and guys in League One, and there's no much a difference in ability. The difference is that that guy could play Aye, in yeah. a high pressure game and that guy couldn't. Do you think yeah. it's a. Uh, it's just teams having a fucking mad moment ahead, loss, isn't it? Mm. Just it definitely suits worse players. I think it definitely aye. suits yeah. worse players you playing. You're spotting me see that bit brown, and it was a compliment. Yeah, he needs that bite. He, that's where he aye. performs best. When when he's, big it, regardless if he makes mistakes, he'll keep on wanting the ball. Whether yeah. these guys, if they make mistakes, they're no interested. Yeah. No, there's no fans. Mate, we can't just brush over that statement though. Like, we, that Sam is Matt, the uh, worst. <laughs> that is so bad. So that that's generally the same, right? So, but see when Tony Pulis was the manager of Stoke. That's it saying you need to bring Pep Guardiola on as a, as a striker's coach, <laughs> attack coach. Yeah, brilliant, you've got him. How what did, what did Harry Hans say, Richard Keyes? <laughs> Mate, did you see him saying about... Is he brushing his knuckles or what? <laughs> <laughs> he said something stupid as well, didn't he? He said he's said in Messi couldn't do it and Nigel De, De Jong agreed with him, didn't he? No, no Nigel De Jong said Messi's the best player in the world, he'll be the best player in the Premier League. And Richard Keyes went, no chance. Mate, that's why mate. that's why Richard uh, Keys and Andy Grabe and Pap do out of fucking whatever that is. Dubai. That is that is by far the worst, worst shit I've ever heard. <laughs> right, last week, uh, Abraham was involved in a tussle with Jorginho to take the ball. Apparently, you ever had that before? Um, nah, I'd be I had to, to ask. Me. Well, I had to ask you about this though, because <laughs> was it the semi final? Set of Rangers and Tavernier was the penalty taken. Morelos took it. I asked you about that already. Oh. I bet no, but that was like so. Taff had missed his two previous. And the manager said, like, you're after pens now. So there wasn't like a case of, like, Tab didn't refuse to take the penalty. Take penalty right. So but, it came for the manager of her. Aye. But there was like, I think then, so Tab got took off him. I'm sure we got another penalty where somebody missed. I think it was Scott Arfield. And he missed. Might have been another one and somebody missed. So like, it was up there. Don't know who was taking penalties. But it shocked everyone that he chose Alfredo. I don't know if he chose Alfredo just because he scored a lot of goals or that, but... I've said it before, Alfredo's not a great finisher, he's no go, like, Aye, great composure, he's, he's just a brilliant goal Aye. scorer, so I was shocked that he was the one that ended up taking it. Do you hit penalties, Kev? I did, I, I hit seven at the You penalties? And I scored them all. Did you, huh? Aye. And was there never any debate that you, you were in the No, I do know what happened, Sorry, si. See, when I had my uh, first game for Hearts, the second game for Hearts, we played Hamilton at, at the Hamilton's ground, and we're winning 3-1, and I came on as a sub, and we got a penalty, and Callum Elliott says, here, take the ball, big man, score yourself a goal, uh, Get your, your, get your cell up running. Uh, get your feet under the cap. Uh, so I was like, oh fuck, I've never hit a penalty in my life. So I fucking ran, ran up and just leathered it right, right up the top. Is that your first penalty? Aye, uh, great. I think, I think so. I can't even remember. And uh, so I scored and then we kept fucking getting penalties and Callum Elliott kept running for the ball. I went, no, Callum, I'm the penalty taker. Oh, <laughs> so he's he's just, it. Uh, so he ended up fucking getting dropped out of the team because he wasn't scoring because I took the penalties off him. And then I, I, had, I had seven and I remember playing Motherwell, third, the third penalty I got. I, 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 the first two I just hammered as hard as I fucking could because I wasn't calling it I hit my penalty yeah. and the third one I thought fuck it I'm just going to wee side footer at the bottom corner so I wee side footer and John Ruddy was stood there in the middle he went he says fucking hell he says you've hit your last two just hard as fuck down the middle he says that's why I stood still I says aye but you're the kind of that would have fucking figured me out he says that's why I put it down the side, side so it was so I had seven out of seven but I think I wish I'd took penalties the other side because the Wikipedia the goals were a fucking rocket to dot ah. um, but it's, it, 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 you become confident at them, I think. Mm. And when you miss one, you don't feel that you deserve to get brought off it because you've missed Aye. one. Why was he raging though? Why was Tammy Abraham raging? No, no Tammy Abraham penalty tried penalty. to take the penalty, and Jorginho is the designated so penalty taker. That's what I mean. I don't understand why he's raging. It's not as if he just missed before. I don't know. Like, I don't know. 
Ah no, it's what Fernandez is the same, isn't he? Doesn't mate, he's scored his last like he's he's not missed a penalty for like five years or something. Scored his yeah. last like, eighteen penalties. I know, but he's like, like I'd rather not. I think miss. I know. Uh, what about you? Still never had a penalty. No, mate. That's what I said there. If somebody ran out to get the ball, I'd throw it to him. Genuinely, like, I was petrified <laughs> the penalties. And I remember I went to. A, <coughs> this is how bad this is. I went to an amateur team after I stopped playing just to see if I wanted it. That was even worse. Do you want to name them? No, no, honestly, no. no like, if I thought team. that sort of low leagues was bad, way to see these guys. And uh, when, I, when I, we went into a penalty shootout, one of the cup games, I, mean, I was actually scared to hit one in the penalty shootout. And an amateur game? That's mental, yeah. I scored a penalty against you. Is ya? The uh, Petro Fat final, aye. Did you take that? Mm. Did you? That's what I was going to say. You see, the, why did you not keep hitting penalties for Indus? I was never the penalty taker, Martin Wycombe was. Right. But he was injured, so I was always second penalty taker. So I had scored, I think I scored seven or eight or something. And then when Waggy came back, he was a pen taker. And then just, I don't even know how it ended up happening, but might have been under Pedro or something like that when I was away that Tav was a penalty taker and he was just scoring them off. But he, under under Gerard in the first season, mate, he scored about eight penalties or something up mm. to Jan. But he scored a lot of big penalties, Europa League qualifiers, Europa League group stages and that, so he scored some big penalties. I've only like, Pel- Celtic in the shootout, Aberdeen at Putodin were 1-0 down. But with them, none of my penalties were like, really big get, penalties. Did you not get a wee bit nervous now? No, no. Like, see when you talk about nerves, sorry I'm going to interrupt you there. See when we got to the playoff semi-final with the championship to get promoted to the Premiership, yeah. we got to penalties with Palace and Big Mix went around and said, right, who's my penalty takers? Kyle, you must be, surely you've scored in the last two games. And I was like, your top scorer. I was like, God, I fucking never took a penalty. I said, no, I don't want to take one. They went, really? I went, no. I said, I need to the fucking boss for it. And I was honest. Right. So we took my five penalties. It went to sudden death. I think Jason Matatier missed, then Poom saved, and then it came to Jeff Whitley and he missed. And I was thinking, like, why, why the fuck did I not just go up and take, take a penalty? Because, yeah. uh, like, I had scored in the game. I'd scored in the first leg. I was top scorer. I was getting a bit of praise. Even if I was a guy that missed it, maybe the fans would have accepted that a wee bit more. But I was just it, a it, fucking it, shitbag. I think as well, it, it looks worse if you're a goal scorer. Yeah, and you strike on the right. Right. I know, I, look, I look, do look back now and it's probably one of my regrets that I didn't take one because I might have scored, might not have scored. But I just look back now and think, why the fuck? But that was that was the level of maybe the anxiety running through my mind at that time. Penalties are all about composure, innit? Of course, you, it you is. don't even need, you don't need to be a great finisher. It's just Aye. composure. Pick your target, hit it, and hope for the best. The one I missed, I changed my mind. That's why I missed. Aye, that's why I missed. Why did you change your mind? Same as similar to what you were saying that my first three penalties, I'd all went the same side. Yeah, I'd like passed them to the, the left hand corner every single one, and I went to do it the same. And I was like, what? If same as Aye. what you're saying, what if he's looked at yeah. this and I've noticed it, so I changed it, missed. Anyone ever confused your hair for a penalty spot? <laughs> <laughs> I had to get you back and just thought, there's lots of things very much. Yeah. All right, team.